Yeah. Jenna, thanks. We're now bringing you the latest developments on a story that we've been following for more than a week. Springfield's fire commissioner running over a suspected rabid raccoon with his SUV and attracting quite a bit of attention in the community. This afternoon, afternoon, local leaders came together at Springfield City Hall to discuss plans in place to properly respond to rabid animals in the city. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle joins us live in Springfield. After attending that meeting, Glenn, what was the outcome? Yeah, Chris, Abby, not many conclusions drawn at that meeting that was called to get all the departments on the same page on how to deal with rabbit animals. But more importantly, the council discussed whether or not the raccoon that Fire Commissioner Calvi ran over had rabies in the first place. The Springfield City Council's General Government Committee took Wednesday afternoon to discuss what to do when dealing with rabbit animals. We know from the videos that the police were there. So why did it take the commissioner to run him over at the police, not to dispatch, euthanize the animal. This after Springfield Fire Commissioner B.J. Calvi was caught on camera, running over what he believed to be a rabid raccoon multiple times in an effort to protect others in the community from being attacked. He took this action after the wildlife trapper the fire department called couldn't give an estimated arrival time. City council members discussed the Springfield policy regarding wildlife removal and rabies put in place by the city back in 2000 and reviewed in 2021. It says after officials find what they believe to be a rabid animal, the person should immediately call the animal inspector at the Department of Health and Human Services. When on scene, the inspector determines if the animal has rabies and calls the city's contracted agency to deal with the matter where the animal is trapped, killed, and the head of the animal then sent to a Jamaica Plains lab in Boston for testing. But there's one problem. Obviously, uh, we don't have the carcass of the raccoon and the raccoon has never been tested. Councilor Santaniello says as far as they know, the raccoon's body has yet to be recovered and tested. The council did invite the Springfield Public Works Department and Springfield Police to the meeting to get to the bottom of this situation, but they didn't show. Councilor Victor Davila had these words to say to the department heads. Department heads, be aware. Budget season's coming. We call you, we expect you here. We have big scissors and I'm not kidding about this. It is an insult, it is disrespectful to this body when you ask to come in and you don't come in. Davila also plans on following up with Fire Commissioner Calvi as a part of the internal investigation. Meanwhile, the Massachusetts Environmental Police is still investigating this incident. Reporting live in Springfield, Glenn Kittle for Western Mass News. 